All right, so here's a brief sketch of this problem. The mass is 1,000. The car is coming to a stop, so the final velocity is zero. And in doing that, it leaves a skid mark of 80. We assume that that's our delta x. Um, I want to know the initial velocity of the car before braking. So that's kind of the setup. And it says that the maximum force that the brakes are capable of is 8,000. So whenever a problem in physics tells you that the maximum force is 10, you just write f equals 10. Um, you can basically ignore the word maximum. That's sort of used for analysis of what's kind of going on, trying to interpret what's happening. Uh, but that's what we're going to use. We're going to use the maximum force. So F, uh, this is the force of the brakes, FB equals negative 8,000. Why? Because the idea is that the car is moving this way with some initial velocity, but you want to cause the car to stop. So you have to pull the car in the opposite direction. Okay. So the free body diagram would look like this. Force of the brakes. Okay. And let's see. I'm looking for the initial velocity. Initial velocity is not in F equals ma. It's in one of our motion equations. It's a motion variable. So I need 3 out of 5. I have 1, 2. What else is here? The acceleration and delta t. So I'm going to have to find either A or delta T, and you know how this works by now, hopefully. I'm going to get A from F equals MA, okay? So I'm going to go the sum of all forces equals MA. The only force is this negative 8,000. Notice that the magnitude of this force is 8,000, and it's going to the left, so I have to plug it as a negative 8,000. Uh, the mass of the car is 1,000, so the acceleration is, if you divide the two, negative 8 meters per second squared. Should make sense the force to the left which is negative in this problem so going the acceleration should be to the left as well which is negative. Um, and you're also by now probably used to the idea that if you're stopping your acceleration is almost always negative right? Um, or always negative actually. Um, so I got A I can plug it in here and it's negative 8 and that allows me to find V final. This delta t is my ignored variable, sad face, and that tells me that I should be using the second equation. V final squared, V initial squared, plus 2A delta x. The final velocity is zero. The initial velocity is what I'm looking for. So it looks like this. Acceleration negative 8, delta x is 80. If you multiply this, I get, a, I have it here, 1280. So this goes over to the other side as a positive 1280. So the initial velocity is the square root of that, which is rounds to 35.8 meters per second. Okay, this is actually the final answer. This is just some temporary number we got. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully you got it.